Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am just doing a little bit of a get ready with me for my bridal shower vlog. So obviously I'm already ready, but you guys kind of saw my morning routine this morning. I did my normal breakfast and coffee and journaling um, and kind of all of my normal stuff for the morning, nothing crazy. And then I lit my special Jo Malone candle. Um, as I've talked about before, I'm having that Jo Malone scent be my signature scent for my wedding. So I'm wearing the perfume today. I have the candle going to kind of get some good vibes. And then I just got ready. I did my makeup. I um, didn't film it because I wanted to kind of like relax while I got ready and I didn't want like the pressure of like having to talk and film. Plus I didn't have that much time. So there just wasn't time to do it. But I am wearing my... Um, Dose of Colors Foundation, Tarte Shape Tape, um, Hula, Benefit Hula and Hula Light, my regular Marc Jacobs Favorite Blush, and then my Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter, and that blush and that highlighter are both, like, discontinued, so I can't, I don't really want to, like, show you guys those anyway because you can't buy them anymore, so it's kind of useless. And then on my eyes, I just have my Ardell 422s, I think they're called, the um, lashes just like I do in my lash video. And then I have like a ColourPop shadow on the lids and kind of my usual eyeshadows. And then my hair is curled and then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit. This dress is from Beholden, which is actually where I got my rehearsal dinner dress and my wedding dress. But it's just a short little fun frilly kind of dress. And then these are actually gonna be my wedding shoes, I think. So actually not, I think they are because I got my dress hemmed to fit these. They're just plain white Sam Edelman flats. I believe they're called the Hazel. I have the box right over there. You can see it. But um, I believe they're called the Hazel Pumps. I have these actually in a couple other colors that I wear for work all the time. And they're just the most comfortable like pumps on me. I love them. I can, I know I can wear them for hours. I know they're super comfortable. So I just trust them and they're just classic and easy. So I'm planning to wear them today for my shower then also for my rehearsal dinner and for the wedding, of course. So then the final touch is gonna be my hair, which I think I might end up putting in a low pony. But my shower, as I mentioned in a past video, is Downton Abbey themed. So I bought off Etsy, like a literal Lady Mary um, tiara, just like she wears when she wears Ma Mary's Matthew, if you're a Downton Abbey fan. Um, I am just obsessed, so I just thought it would be fun. It's not, it just kind of sits flat on top of the head, so I'm gonna go ahead and have my sister put that on, and I'm gonna go to my shower. All right, it is quite a few days later. It's actually like a week and a half later after my bridal shower and I haven't brushed my hair yet this morning. So sorry about that. It's a little all over the place, but I just wanted to kind of tie up this video and give you guys some like final goodbye clips. My shower was absolutely amazing. It was so beautiful. I really only got a couple clips of the setup and now my dog is drinking water. He hasn't drinking any water all day. Hold on. Okay, he's done drinking water. As I was saying, my shower was absolutely perfect and beautiful, but I only got a couple clips of kind of the setup and then I just enjoyed the day. It was also a million degrees, so I was sweating so much. Um, but I'm gonna insert a couple pictures now kind of on the screen because I never got to show you guys what my like little Downton Abbey crown looked like in my hair. I ended up going with a low ponytail. I had two kind of front pieces hanging out and then the crown thing just like on my head like a headband. And I just absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna link it on Etsy down below. And I'm in my kitchen because I got so many amazing gifts for my shower. I feel so spoiled. I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but I just wanted to show you two things that I'm probably most excited about. Um, it was all stuff off our registry re-registered, mostly on Crate and Barrel, and then some on Amazon and a few other random sites, but mostly Crate and Barrel. And I'm just obsessed with everything. So I just wanted to tie this up by showing you guys two things because they're making me so happy. Okay, first off is my brand new kettle. This is the Smeg Cream Kettle. It's just so beautiful. Beautiful, and I can't like express to you guys how luxury it feels like the pop button on the top and how it opens oh sorry it's like out of focus okay it's not smoke focusing very good but just the button on top the handle just the feel of the whole thing is luxury the like feel of the little lever just everything is elevated I just am obsessed with this secondly I just wanted to show you guys our glasses cabinet um, we now have a full set of 12 tall glasses and 12 little glasses there's some extra up on the second shelf and then these are some also really cute ice cream dishes that we also got from Crate and Barrel but these 
glasses. I just saw them when we were in Crate and Barrel registering and I don't know why it's not focusing, but they're just so incredibly beautiful. Oh my God, that one has water spots from the washer. Okay, ignore that. But I did wash all of them before we put them away. Anyway, I'm just so pleased to have a full set of dishes. We really had like a hodgepodge before of like mismatched ones. And I can't explain how pleasing this is. All right, and that is it for my bridal shower vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those few like new kitchen updatey things. It's just makes things feel so exciting because even though I've been living with my fiance for a few years, we've been together for like five years at this point, it's still kind of fun to have these new exciting things that are like marking a new era. So we're getting lots of new kitchen stuff and just everything feels fresh and exciting. And I'm just so happy. So I want to share it with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed seeing some behind the scenes of the shower as well. Okay, you guys, I just realized that autofocus accidentally got turned off. So it's been on manual focus for all these clips. So no wonder you couldn't see anything. Um, but hopefully you got a little bit of a sense of what I was talking about. I actually don't have time to refilm the clips, but the last thing I was ready, um, getting ready to say really quickly is about my lip combo. If you caught my last video, which was my everyday makeup video, I was wearing this foundation and concealer and pretty much this whole makeup combo. My eyeshadow was a little different and I selected a different lip. But this is the one I was talking about, which is my new Marc Jacobs nudist lip liner and my NARS orgasm kind of like lipsticky bomb thing. So this is what that combo looks like. I just wanted to show you guys because I love it. I think it's like a really nice natural um, looking combo. And I think it's just fun for like an easy day and it's easy to reapply. So, and it's really hydrating. I actually really like this formula of the NARS thing. A lot of times these like lipsticky slash balm things end up being drying and not really that hydrating, but I find that this one's actually pretty hydrating. All right, so that is it for today's video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.